Hello traders, today's top stories, the Trump administration's tax outline is approaching and fueling fast markets on Wall Street. Important data is on the way too. It's Tuesday, April the 25th and here is our New York Review. Wall Street turned in a supercharged day of gains across the three major indexes on Monday. The Trump administration has been giving hints regarding its tax reform package and it is set to tentatively be published on Wednesday. Today, the conference board's consumer sentiment reading will be released. A result of 124 or above would be a good improvement. It will be a big week for American investors. The White House will have an impact on sentiment, but important data will also have an effect like the gross domestic product figures on Friday. Equities in the states will experience quick markets in the coming days. The Nikkei index has put in solid trading again. After a rather cautious approach to risk sentiment early last week, Japanese markets have emerged with a steady stream of upward momentum. Tomorrow, the All Industries Activity data will come from Japan, but it is the Bank of Japan meeting and its official outlook which will affect markets on Thursday. The yen has traded in a solid range against the US dollar but has weakened slightly and is near the important 110.50 resistance levels which should be watched. China markets including the Shenhai Shenzhen and Hang Seng Composites were positive also today. The DAX and FTSE have traded in positive territory early this morning but other major indexes in Europe have seen some profit taking based on yesterday's broad gains. The effects from the French election are still being discussed by investors who reacted in a very positive fashion yesterday. The European Central Bank is standing in the shadows and President Mario Draghi is expected to offer a more optimistic outlook of the European economy on Thursday. Yesterday's German business climate result was positive coming in with a mark of 112.9, which was above expectations. The euro and pound remained steady against the US dollar. Public sector net borrowing figures from the UK have come in below their estimate this morning. Crude oil remains under a considerable amount of pressure as the price of 49 US dollars for a barrel stays firmly within sight as a support level. Supply numbers remain considerable globally and crude oil inventories data will come from the states tomorrow and will test speculative positions. Traders will monitor the consumer confidence data coming from the US today at 2 p.m. GMT. Thank you all for watching, have a wonderful trading day and we will see you again soon.